Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see about the dynamic memory allocation. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna explain what is dynamic memory allocation and you know what is the need of this dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation is nothing but the process of allocating memory when the program is running. You know, you are gonna allocate the memory when uh, your program is running. The operating system is the one you know which is gonna do the memory management so it's gonna allocate enough space in memory for each program to store its variables and data and these memories are called stack so we can say that you know the operating system is gonna reserve some part of the memory as a stack where the programs running in the system can store their uh, local variables and data so let me see whether I can draw this okay now let's say this is a stack allocated by the operating system for the programs to store their local data and this stack is shared by all the programs running in the system and this is the stack space used by the program 1 to store its local variables and data and let's say this one is for the program 2 and similarly you know if any other programs are running you know they're gonna use the remaining stack memory so so in our program when we create and use a variable for example int x and when we use that variable by assigning some values to that variable let's say x you know what happens is the variable x will be pushed into the stack so let's say ours is program 2 you know it's gonna push this variable x to the stack here so the variable x will be here and uh, when we create some other variables and use that for example float p and let's say a value of um, 6.3 and you know the variable p will be pushed into the stack Similarly, if we create any functions in our program, let's say we have a function called um, void add, and this add function is going to create and use some variables. Let's say int a and um, float r, and when we call this add function in our program. The control will be transferred to this add function and uh, the variables a and r will be pushed into the stack and also you know since this is the memory allocated for the program 2 to store its local variables you know this memory will be shared between the functions of a program so now the compiler is gonna push the variables a and R so it's gonna be A and R so once this add a function finishes execution and the control will come out of this add a function you know these values A and R will be popped up from the stack and again if our program uses any variables or calls any functions you know uh, the va particular values will be pushed into the stack and when they finish execution you know the values will be popped out of the stack so in the end when this uh, main function finishes execution you know all these values will be popped out of the stack and you know this uh, stack memory will be free and, and if any other program is you know executed then it's gonna use this freed memory so the limitation with the stacks is suppose let's say in our program we're gonna use a very large variable let's say care data and this data is around um, 1000 bytes long and uh, when we use this variable data in our program you know the variable data will be pushed into the stack so that the data will be here and you know it's gonna allocate 1000 bytes for this um, variable data so at that time you know it may exceed the 
memory space allocated for this program too and it may overwrite the memory allocated for let's say program 1 and when the program 1 is running along with this program 2 you know its local variables are changing from an external program and this program 1 is gonna crash so as a programmer you know you don't want to crash any programs when your program needs very large amount of memory what you can do is you can allocate that memory from an entirely different memory part provided by the operating system and this is called heap and this heap is nothing but a chunk of large unused memory and this unused memory can be used by any program running in the system so we can create a pointer in our program let's say car um, ptr and we can allocate the memory dynamically from this heap and we can make our point of ptr to point to that uh, you know allocated memory so we're gonna create a pointer here ptr and then we're gonna make that one to point to the amount of memory we required which is you know allocated from this um, heap so for this purpose we're gonna use some memory allocation functions in C and once we have done with this allocated memory you know we need to free this memory so if you forget to free this memory you know any other program running in the system can't use this memory and another use of dynamic memory allocation is you know sometimes we don't know you know uh, what is the length or size of the user input so at that time we can ask the user about the length or size and depending on that user input we can create enough memory using this dynamic memory allocation technique so in the next tutorial we're gonna see what are the functions available in C to allocate the memory dynamically and also you know how we can free the allocated memory so this is it guys this is about the dynamic memory allocation thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i see you in the next tutorial